JT Daniels leaving Georgia. He has announced that he is headed to West Virginia. He is going to reunite with former offensive coordinator at USC, Graham Harrell. Uh, Graham Harrell was at North Texas, and then he packed up and headed out to L.A. And, of course, JT Daniels was the starter for the first game. He gets hurt, tears his ACL. Uh, then, of course, you've got, uh, and I forget the kid's name now, uh, uh, Keaton Slovis. And he, of course, is headed to Pittsburgh now. But uh, but JT Daniels is, you know, headed on over to uh, to West Virginia. I find this to be a very intriguing fit, right? Because you've got an experienced yet unproven quarterback who has played for a winning team, obviously, in Georgia. Uh, he's dealt with some injuries, but if he's healthy, you know that he can fit into that offense. I'm... I'm curious your thoughts here. Like, Neil Brown swapped over his OC. They finally got rid of uh, what we on the Bet U.S. College Football Show used to call Schrodinger's quarterback uh, in Jared Dagey. Like, you never knew what you were going to get from that guy. And and I've, obviously, we don't know what we're going to get from JT Daniels. But the thought process here is is pretty good. You got a guy that knows this system already coming in. West Virginia, surprisingly... I, there's a lot of talent in that wide receiver core if their offensive line can hold up. You know, Letty Brown ain't coming back, but, you know, there's there's promise there. This could possibly be maybe a breakout year at West Virginia. What say you? I like the move for JT Daniels. I like the move for West Virginia. I like the move for Neil Brown. And uh, I do think that West Virginia now um, is a player because we thought they'd been getting better but just the inconsistent quarterback play over the last couple of years has just made it impossible for them to be a consistent football team. And and I I'm not, I don't think JT Daniels needs to be a Heisman hopeful, you know, star mega guy. Just don't turn the ball over. Just run a stable yeah. offense, make some big plays, and don't make the big mistake. And this is a huge upgrade for West Virginia. Yes, yes, it is. I, I will say this: their defense, no matter who has left, they they always come to play, no matter what. Even after uh, Vic Kenning was fired, uh, what summer of twenty twenty, I think, is when all that stuff went down. Uh, twenty twenty, and then twenty twenty one, they just had a, a hodgepodge of a staff at handling the defense, and they've been good, like really good on defense. So as long as you can get the offense to be somewhat consistent. I think you got good things in store. Like, and who knows what the Big 12 is going to look like? Not necessarily in the future, but I'm just saying this season. Like, right now, uh, ESPN's FBI came out and had Texas ranked number six in the country, and, and we know how that goes. But Oklahoma just lost their head coach. Oklahoma State just lost the defensive coordinator. Uh, you know, we saw what Baylor was last year, but was that just a flash in the pan, or is Dave Aranda really building a juggernaut there? Like, who knows? So the Big 12 could just be completely up for grabs, and if you finally got you a quarterback at West Virginia, like I, I kind of would expect pretty big things there. So, obviously, there are some inexperienced players that are going to have to prove it on the field. But, yeah, I'm with you. I really like this move. Uh, JT Daniels, it, it kind of gets him out of the spotlight a little bit. Like, when you go to USC uh, a year early, you know, he was still supposed to be a high school senior when he started all those games at USC that first year. Then he comes out the next year, gets hurt, gets beat out, and then he transfers to Georgia and is never really healthy. But when he was healthy at the end of that 2020 season, like it, you saw what that Georgia offense can be with him and George Pickens and whatnot. He was never really healthy in 2021. If he can go to West Virginia and be healthy, stay out of the limelight a little bit, like absolutely. I, I, think, uh, I think good things for all of them, all of them. So I do agree with you. On that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.